Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how we can use Clix 1D Pro to take a set of lanes from one Jello Blot image, compare it to another Jello Blot image, and automatically detect if there are any matching bands between the two different images. Say you're in the position where you just want to take a couple of lanes from one Jello Blot image and compare them to another couple of lanes on another Jello Blot image. A really simple comparison. You don't want to create a synthetic lane or, or, or do any of this kind of composite lane management or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to do that really simply and quickly using the Clix 1D Pro software. So I've already loaded a couple of, I've already got a database set up here with a, a couple of gel and blot images in. And if you just wanted to do, I want to compare these to these kind of comparisons, what you want to do is you want to put the lanes that you want to compare across into a set of their own. So you come to the, once you've already imported your database and things like that, you want to come through to the find lanes and set management tab at the top and what you want to do is we want to create a new set so a set of lanes is exactly what it sounds like it's a group of lanes a subset of your your main database so uh, let's just call this um, youtube demo why not so as you can see here on the left hand side within this box that's where the lanes that will be in this group or this set that's that's where they'll be held and on the in the center here is all of the lanes that I've currently got inside my database now my database is not particularly large but if it were I would be able to use the the functions at the top here to kind of search that database so if I knew the name or the drug treatment or the gel or something like that some identifying marker that I wanted to compare these new lanes against uh, I could find them quite quickly here using kind of the date or the lane name or any comments that I appended to that that gel or blot image. So once you've kind of you've got the lanes in here in the center that you know you want to compare against. So say if I want to compare lane five and six from this converted image to lanes five and six or five and seven as it were on this image, what I would do is simply left click and drag those across five and six and then come down to five and seven so left click and just drag them across into the left hand side and start building up this set so once i've done that you can obviously see the lane information when you click on the lanes within the database so once i've done that i've now got these four to compare against each other the next step i need to perform is my matching step so if i come through and by default the match parameters are set to your entire database every lane every band that's in your database but if you just click this drop down here you'll see the group, the subset that we made earlier is now present. So if I click on that, you can see the four lanes that I've added to this, this group. You've got your matching settings here, which I explain in greater detail in the, in the matching tutorial video for Clix 1D Pro. And again, the, the function, the mathematical uh, kind of function that decides whether it is a matching band or not. But again, I go into greater detail on that video or within the software, you can click this blue uh, question mark and get a lot of information about the differences between the different functions that we have for deciding on whether it, the band is a match or not. So you select your subset, you say right I want to compare all these lanes to each other and, and see where my matching bands are, where my differences are etc. And then you click on match lanes and then you can come through to if you want to kind of generate a dendrogram or uh, get a similarity score for these four lanes you would move through to the clustering tab and then again where it says match set you would pick your set which is for this demo the youtube demo set you'd select your settings for similarity and, and dendrogram creation and if you wanted your dendrogram you'd create your dendrogram and there you go, you get your dendrogram of the similarity between your different lanes within your set. If you come through, if you want similarity, you need to click on calculate table and you'll get these lane similarities, dendrogram similarities and cluster groups for your different bands within your lane. So I hope that's, that's helpful for people that don't want to go into the kind of the advanced functions of creating synthetic lanes and things like that if you simply want to take a couple of uh, lanes from one gel or blot image compare them to another couple of lanes from another gel or blot image or take 
one lane from a hundred blocks or something like that. That's how you use the 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 sets, the groups to kind of control your analysis and what you're comparing. Thanks for watching. And if you'd be interested in trialing Clicks 1D Pro to be able to perform band matching and lane matching between gel and blot images within your lab, please check out the links in the description below.